That's right. Today, I am going to drop the F-bomb. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. When I was telling people, so, Laverne, what are you going to be talking about? So, I'm going to be talking about the F-bomb. And they were like, oh, my God. They start wrapping their, clenching their pearls. <laughs> now, the F-bomb that I'm going to drop today is not the one that you drop when someone has upset you or someone cut in front of you on the interstate. No, this F-bomb is a journey that I would like to take you on. So let's get started. So in 1974, I was 14 years old, and that was a long time ago. And so as stated, I'm from North Louisiana, a small town called Homer. And on this particular day, I was coming from school, and I was about to open the back door, and there stood this woman. And she stood about 5'7", bare skin, long black hair, looking at me very stern. And I'm saying to myself, oh my God, I am in trouble today. Because I was one of those kids. I was a bad kid. I was always getting my behind whipped for something. And so as I slowly opened the back door, and I see all these papers spread all over the kitchen table, I'm saying to myself, oh my God. And so as this woman looks at me and she says, come on in, gal. I got something I need to tell you today. So I sat down and she sits down. And she says, you know, I've been meaning to tell you this for a long time. And I thought today was a good day to share this with you. And what she told me that day was interesting. And she told me, she said, I, I adopted you. I was like, adopt? I mean, what does that mean? I had never heard the word adopt. Keep in mind, I'm 14 years old, right? I'm from the country. Nobody talks about adopt. And so I look at her and I ask her a question, well, what does that mean? And she says, well, there was this woman that gave you up, and I found you in an orphanage, and I brought you home. And I'm saying to myself, what? What does this mean? I mean, does this mean, I mean, what do I call you? Do I call you mother or do I call you Mary Alice? Or what about the lady that lives in the back back there? Do I call her grandmother or do I call her Josephine? And in my generation, you didn't get smart with your moms, right? Because if you did, you just pray to God that you'll see tomorrow. <laughs> and so I'm just sitting there and just confused and, and, and all these emotions that I, I couldn't identify titles with, but one in particular was anger and, and, and felt as though that I was alone. And then as I sat there thinking about all of this, I, I began to hear voices of things that people would say about me and say that I was stupid and dumb and ugly and never amount to anything and, and began to wonder why kids would pick on me so. It's because I was different. I'm adopted. And so here it is, I'm 14, and I have all these emotions inside of me that I took as a 14-year-old into my adulthood. So let's fast forward. Now it's the year 2000, I'm 40 years old. And I'm trying to understand how is it for 26 years that I have carried all of this emotion, all of that anger, which now I can identify with, resentment, with low self-esteem, low self-worth, feeling meaningless. And so I decided to go and get some answers, get some guidance. And so that is the day that the F-bomb was dropped on me. And that F-bomb that was dropped on me that day was the word forgiveness. Forgiveness. And so with that, they shared three principles with me. One is that I had to forgive myself. Two, I needed to get out of the victim mode. And three, I needed to be open. And so as I hear these three principles, I said to myself, I don't need to forgive myself. And what are you talking about the victim mode? I am the victim. And being open, open to what? So let's fast forward to 2005. I live in New Orleans. Most of you all know what happened in 2005. We were impacted by a hurricane named Katrina. And so I had to evacuate. And so where did I evacuate to? North Louisiana, where I was raised and where my mother lived. 
So on this particular day, I decide, you know what, I'm gonna go visit her today and see how she's doing. So as I walk into this room, I see her, her face just, just lit up when she saw me. But on this particular day, my mind went back to when I was 14 years old. And as I entered the room, I sit next to her, and all of a sudden, the F-bomb dropped in my mind. I grabbed her hand, and as I grabbed her hand, I looked at her and I said these words. I said, Mother, will you find in yourself to forgive me for not being the daughter that I should have been? Will you forgive me for not loving you the way that I should have? And will you forgive me for blaming you for 31 years of all the challenges and struggles that I went through in my life. Can you imagine? I had carried all of that baggage from the time I was 14 years old, where I'm now 45. She's now 84, older, much older. And she looks at me and she says these words. She says, you're my daughter. I love you, which was the first time ever in my life that I had ever heard my mother tell me that she loved me. But she said this, and I'll never forget it. She says, my prayer to God every single day is when the good Lord closed my eyes for the final time, I hope and pray that it's you that I see. I sat there, both of us, teary-eyed, and I remember leaving her that day, sitting in my car, crying my highballs out for weeks and weeks and weeks. But the thing that was so interesting about this is the fact that I had carried 31 years for a woman that really, truly loved me. I never thought about the fact that there are over 400,000 children currently in foster care and never thought the fact that I was one of the blessed ones that was brought home. I had no sense of appreciation. I didn't appreciate this woman for all the sacrifices that she made. All I could think about is the fact that she hid something from me and told me something that was dramatic in my life at the age of 14. As I continued to discover and look more into forgiveness, I ran across this quote by Oprah Winfrey that says, true forgiveness is when you say, thank you for that experience. And truly, truly, that was an experience. As I began to think about those three principles, I understand now the importance of forgiving yourself. I now understand the importance of no longer being a victim. And I truly understand the importance of being open. So I thank you for this opportunity for dropping this F-bomb. And I'm sorry that I didn't drop the actual F-bomb that you thought I was. Thank you.